This is the future. The future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and um, as always when I start doing this video so I first have to go back and see if my house and everything is still standing because in between the times the kids are playing on my world and they are changing things left, right and center as they wish. So here we are in the throne room and uh, that we finished last, well, yesterday, well, in the video that you saw yesterday. And in today's video, we are going to go ahead and complete the dungeon. We're going to upgrade the dungeon, cut out the stone, swap the stone again for those bricks. Um, there's some additions that I'm going to make. But before we do that, uh, check out this message. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. So you guys are probably wondering what am I doing? Well, I had this wicked idea that you're in a dungeon with a massive drop to the bottom and I thought to myself well if you are going to get the death penalty then what better way to execute someone than to push him off the ledge it's like walking the plank this was the final stand and I even went as far as to put up a little sign that will confirm your worst fears when you get to this edge and there we go don't you think this is fitting this is the end what's gonna happen then is you're gonna be walking the plank and then yeah! squash squash dead blah end of the story so it's quite a drop you will not survive it and just to make sure that you guys can know that you will never escape this dungeon it's a closed off cavern if you survive the drop you're still not gonna get out and if you dig to the top you're gonna drown so I really think this dungeon is in the best place ever. Okay, so let me show you what my son has been up to. While I was uh, not around, he went and he put these iron bars in front of the cells to make it look more like a jail. And he also went as far as to put in beds for the criminals and um, in this case i think it is this room he thought of capturing zombies so inside the box is rotten meat that he could feed his zombie prisoners and of course um, i took everything out um, i did leave his bed i loved his idea but i had to change the the rock now for the cobblestones so that's what i am doing right now So here's another place where my son actually taught me something about the game that I didn't know. Uh, first of all, I didn't know they were iron doors until I actually saw them and then I wondered how do I operate them? And he was the one who told me about the lever system. You put in a lever, you pull the lever and the door opens and closes. Um, it should be very obvious I think, but uh, yeah, well, they were watching the Minecraft videos for much longer than I have been. So uh, there we actually have a way now to open up the prison cell doors and uh, without the guys being able to open it themselves and to keep them in. I proceeded to put two beds in each cell and then I thought of, um, and then I thought of building uh, another cell.
And again, I was just reminded that I should really refrain from writing signs because spelling was never my strong suit. I went to see how you spell dungeons and I still spelled it wrong. So that's it for this video guys. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Give me a like if you like this video. And until next time, cheers.